You're watching Poindexter Lounge for the unit. What's up, nerd family? Welcome once again to the Poindexter Lounge. My name is Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett, and it is good to have you with me in the lounge today. Just know that the Poindexter Lounge is a place for nerds. It's a place where you and me and my crew can get together and talk about all the things that we love. Things like TV shows, movies, games, sci-fi, fantasy, comic books, superheroes, toys. Oh, yes, toys. And... Uh, so much more. And if those things are the things that get you excited, if those are things that get you uh, up early to go stand in line outside of a store hoping that you'll be first in line to get a new toy or maybe you're online trying to get your credit card information in fast enough and your shipping information in fast enough so that you get that deal, then you have found the right place. And we understand um, we understand the hurt. We understand the pain that you're going through. So please uh, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell and become part of of this growing group of nerds. We'd love to have you here. Now today is a special day because today we are talking about Cyborg, my boy, Ray Fisher, my man, as uh, Aquaman would say, my man, Ray Fisher, uh, Cyborg from Zack Snyder's Justice League with the DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Cyborg action figure. So we're going to go ahead and review this. Now today uh, is a little something different too because I'm coming to you from my new office. I'm trying to set up my new studio and office and everything. I just got a few of my figures up uh, already. I don't have the, the studio part set up yet. I can't wait for you guys to be able to see that. But uh, you know, just something a little different, a little uh, different environment, and uh, I can't wait to get this all set up and be able to do this, uh, do these reviews, do more reviews, because I had to get away from that a little bit when I wasn't in the office so much last year. So I'm looking forward to getting back into doing that, you know, after work and and just having some fun with you guys. All right, so let's jump into this action figure though and see what McFarland did. All right, so here is the figure itself. You can see here is the box. It looks really good. Uh, it, you know, it's the exact same box as all of the other McFarlane toys. They're very uniform, just that black and white with the blue background uh, for a lot of these. And so looks really good. Here's what he looks like through the window, as you can see here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the outside of the box now. So up here, we got McFarlane toys, 22 moving parts. Here's Cyborg, great likeness by the way. Uh, you see his card back there, an extra appendage. DC Multiverse Cyborg, Justice League 2021. Over here on the side, we've got Justice League 2021, Cyborg Justice League, and of course, McFarlane Toys. And on this side, it says DC Multiverse Cyborg and McFarlane Toys on the bottom. Here is the back of the box. It's got this great artwork on it, just like as always. And uh, up here at the top, it's got the McFarland Toys logo. Each figure comes with a collectible trading card. This is what is on the trading card. We'll see that in a few. Cyborg Justice League. And of course, this is from Justice League Director's Cut Film 2021. I really wish that it didn't say that. I really wish that it actually said what it is, which is Zack Snyder's Justice League. But for some reason, they put Director's Cut. I don't know why. Uh, here it says collect them all. Of course, we got Aquaman. We're going to review him uh, shortly. We got Batman, Cyborg, The Flash. We've done that one already. And Black Suit Superman. Still looking for that Blue Suit Superman. And uh, we're just waiting for the Batman to come in that has uh, no cowl. Here is McFarland Toys and their various social media sites. And then if you just want to write them a letter and let them know how you think they're doing, you can send it right there. And for all of you UPC symbol people out there who like to see what the numbers are, this is the bottom of the box with all of the warnings and all of the cool stuff. And of course, there is your UPC. Let's go ahead and open him up right now. All 
All right, here is everything that Cyborg comes with. He comes with a figure, obviously. He get, he has the uh, standard stand back there. He's got his uh, trading card and, of course, this extra little appendage that you can use for his arm. Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure itself. So this figure is done really well. I love the sculpting on it. There's a lot of great sculpting here. I'm not a big fan of this paint job here on the front as far as his chest goes. I feel that they could have probably done a better job with that. But uh, look at this face sculpt. Let's just uh, take a look at this face sculpt. I mean, they did a really good job on Ray Fisher's face with this one, which is good because uh, some of these figures, uh, especially the Aquaman one, just... It doesn't look that great as far as the sculpt, but this one looks really good. I love how the metal pieces uh, lay over the uh, just the skin pieces here. And then, I mean, look at look at this detail as you get in here. Uh, it's really great detail of the figure torso. The, the middle part here is something we'll talk about in a second that I'm not really happy with, but yeah, that's a whole other thing. Uh, but you can see here, even down the back. And look, just looks like how nice this is. It's got the shoulder pads that pop up here like that. That's kind of cool. And um, then uh, his legs here. Very Terminator-esque, as it should be. But uh, just a lot of great sculpting. A lot of uh, care, you can tell, was uh, put into this. And back here, you can see where it's kind of hinted at with the other arms that Cyborg has that came out in Zack Snyder's Justice League. So let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. His head will go up and down. You got some great movement here. Look at this. You can almost get his head to go completely straight up, which is really cool, especially if you've got him in a flying pose. It's very, very cool. His, uh, his head does go all the way around like so. His arm is on that same kind of butterfly hinge that uh, all of McFarland's toys are, which is really cool goes all the way around like that. It does go up and down on a joint right there. And then uh, let's see, does he have a bicep swivel? He does have a bicep swivel. Now this is a little strange with this shoulder pad here because it will lay flat like that and like that, I guess. So there you go, you gotta kinda just lay it down, but uh, it will pop up like that to reveal his shoulder. But you do have the bicep swivels, but just be careful that you don't rip that part off. Also, he's got a, uh, a single bending elbow right there. You can see there. And then, of course, his wrist does that right there. It just kind of goes and then it uh, goes back and forth. It's on that same. Well, it's a different kind of joint, actually. It's not uh, the same just ball joint as uh, most of McFarland's uh, figures are. So, uh, And then we'll, ha we'll have to figure out the situation. There it is right there. So that's the situation. You got to take a chance sometimes with these figures when they don't come with, you know, proper information. So you can take that out and then we'll put his appendage on right here. So that'll just snap, should snap right in. You want to be careful, yeah, especially with this the way it is. Uh, it just looks difficult. But there you go. There is his arm, his tool arm. That looks cool. And of course, his other arm does the exact same thing, except for it does not look like you can put the uh, the second appendage on there like that one. Now, he kind of has the same basic crunch. Uh, he's got, you know, the two separated pieces for the waist. So he will go around at the top waist. That's on a ball joint. And then he's got the regular joint here for the middle. Now here is what I have hated about a couple of these figures, is this area right here, the briefs area. This is this is just a piece of rubber. It's, it's like a rubberized plastic. It's not a hard piece of plastic. It's not even built into the figure. And I don't like that. That's been that way with a couple of figures now. I believe it was the Flash who was like that too. But this is even worse. Uh, because it's laying so low, you can see... Actually, no, it wasn't uh, the Flash. I believe it was... Um, uh, Steppenwolf. You can see down into him where you just, it's not part of the figure. It's just, you know, it's just the way the figure's put together. Uh, so uh, he does do the splits probably better than any other McFarlane figure I've seen. 
uh, does go out. But here you can really see the hinges here. What I always talk about is be really careful doing the splits with these things because if that comes out, it's like a pin system. And once these two uh, sides stretch out and that comes off, it's really hard to get it to stay. But you can see here especially, my goodness, this is just loose. It's just floating there. And I, I don't know why they did that because you can see here that that's not part of Cyborg to look cool. That is just part of the hinge. So I, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking here. This just oh, so frustrating because it, it makes it look clunky. It really does make it look clunky. Now his leg will go so far up like that, but that's about as far as you want to take it. It does have it doesn't have any thigh uh, swivel. He does have. Uh, let's see. There's. It's just a single. Yeah, it's just a single. Uh, I think I think it's just because of the the way the type of figure it is, but it's just a single leg bend there. His uh, he, he's still kind of on this rotating foot, as you can see there. But he's got some pieces that kind of block it. It does go up and down like so, and then it's kind of, of course got to have the toe uh, up and down, and of course the other leg does the exact same thing. Here is the stand with the DC etched in it. And he's got the hole in both feet, so you can put that at any place you want to make him stand up. Here is the hand that we took off, and of course, here is the card. I'm going to read the back to you. It says Cyborg Justice League on the back here. It says Cyborg Justice League data file source, Justice League director's cut. And again, real name, Victor Stone. It says, part man, part machine, Victor Stone is a former star athlete at Gotham City University. After a horrific car accident nearly cost him his life, he was saved when his father, scientist Silas Stone, used an apocalyptic mother box to reconstruct his body. In the process, Silas turned Victor into a human computer, organic with biomechatronic, try saying that five times fast, biomechatronic body parts. In other words, a cyborg. And it says DC Multiverse. So pretty cool. And uh, I dig it. So there you go, folks. That is the Cyborg figure. Well, there you have it. That is my review of the DC Multiverse McFarlane version of the Cyborg action figure. What did you think of the review? Did you like it? Do you like this figure? Do you have this figure? Is this a figure that you are hoping to get? You know, uh, we're also going to talk about the helmeted version of this figure at some point. But, uh, you know, which one are you most excited to get? Are you looking for both of them? Or are you just looking for one in particular? Let me know down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. Also, you know, I would love to hear about your toy collection. What kind of things you collect? Maybe you don't collect DC figures. Maybe you collect Marvel figures. Figures. Maybe you collect Star Wars or anything else. Let me know. I would love to hear about that. And also, follow us on social media so that you can actually share pictures of your stuff. I'm sharing you pictures of my stuff and, and what I've got. I would love to see your collections and see what it is that uh, gets you excited in the realm of toys and action figures and, and whatnot. All right. So follow us on social media. And, uh, and then also thank you to all of our patrons. Thank you to everyone who supports the channel, all of our patrons, all the members of the channel. We're so glad to have you guys here. And of course, everyone who gives super chats uh, during our live streams. We're so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you and thankful for all of you who just simply watch. Uh, you know what? We, we can't tell you enough just how glad we are that you are here. All right. So until next time, my name is Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett, saying I will see you in the toy aisle. All right. Stay nerdy. Bye-bye.